Okay guys, welcome to this uh, little special edition to give you a bit of an update as to where I am and uh, not necessarily personally but where I am physically and standing here today because there's been a bit of changes for uh, the average golfer in the last week and all happened very very quickly so I thought I'd stop and give you a bit of an update. Um, first of all before we go too far last couple of videos tremendous support in terms of the comments and the likes it's absolutely fantastic i was blown away by uh, everything that was said in the comments section in the last couple of weeks and uh, it is really great to have that support once again even randy from fried eggs there gave me uh, he supported the channel from day one gave us a number of shout outs and he's done it yet again so once again thanks to randy um but we move on and we move on quite quickly because like i said um I'm in standing in a brand new facility, for me at least, I think it's been open about six or seven months or so, I'm at Four Golf in Chester. Now then, before I go on to explain as to why I'm here, um, I've obviously left after 12 months, I've been at Clark's Golf Centre for 12 months, and I think the first thing I need to say is a massive thanks to them. Um, it's a great facility, they very much supported me a lot. Uh, to get this whole um, club review business off the ground for me uh, in terms of YouTube. So I can't thank them enough. Um, basically putting this very much into perspective, the first is I live about an hour's drive minimum from Clark's Golf Centre. Um, for Golf Chester, which is where I'm stood at now, is literally about five minutes drive from my house. I've been coming to Four Golf for 20 years as a punter. Um, it's a lot of golf balls here and practice sessions and bought a lot of golf clubs. Um, and all the lads here, I get on with them very, very well indeed. And a chance meeting earlier on this week with a guy who owns his place um, ends up me being here now. It's Friday morning, met him on Tuesday, so things move and change very, very quickly. But I've got to say, just have a look around this place, it's absolutely superb. Um, I always want to produce the best videos I possibly can in terms of f for the viewer. And first of all, the bay that I'm in now is a purpose-built bay that, like I said, I think it's been open about six months or so. Um, it is, they use Trackman. We might switch over to Trackman going forward in terms of um, the recording the data. We'll see how that goes. If I can get me a drowned Trackman, we might start using that. But the facility itself, every major brand here, it's a, it's a purpose-built fit centre. I'm looking around Cobra, Strix and Callaway. You can see behind me Ping, TaylorMade, Mizuno, Strixon's here. It's an absolute spot-on facility. I don't know how many bay driving range it is, and again, all the apparel, putters, and everything else you expect from a top-class facility is here at Four, Four Golf Chester. So, can't wait to get stuck in. This is where you'll see me doing the reviews from, from now on. Um, I'm about to review uh, the, my first video here, will be the P790 from TaylorMade Iron, which I'm about to get stuck into very, very shortly. Probably go out straight after I do this video, so stick around for that one. Um, other things that have been happening, I'll be out, I'm trying to get down North Wales. I think we're gonna try and do a video with uh, Liam at Golf Vlogs UK. Um, I'm gonna do a bit of a course vlog down at Nevin. Um, that's gonna be next week. Um, so again, don't forget, subscribe to uh, Golf Vlogs UK, cracking channel. He does a lot of work with me now, Liam, in terms of the outdoor stuff and filming on the course. So look forward to that with him next week. A couple of videos I'm uh, looking to do in the near future. And uh, as soon as I have the next set of testing after I've done the P790s will be uh, next week I start the full range of Titleist um, irons. So there's some like six irons in the test. There's a lot of videoing to be done, a lot of testing to be done. But after that, as far as I'm aware, there's nothing major that's coming out in terms of release for the rest of this year on the irons. Um, I don't know about drivers either. So what I'm gonna do, the next videos that are coming very, very shortly is gonna be my top five, I think I'll do top five irons of 2017. And I'll also do the top five drivers of 2017. In terms of the irons, I might do two categories. I might do the sort of game improver and the better players irons. But there are two videos I'm gonna put out within the next few weeks. Um, so look out for those. Now then, before we go too far, there's one thing I need to clear up. Uh, a lot of you may have watched a video uh, where you've seen me, I kidded you on for a little while, or at least I hope I did. My acting skills aren't the best, don't get me wrong. But you may have thought I ended up with this new driver. Now then, I've got to say, that was only for the purposes of the video. It wasn't the intention to announce that I've got a new driver in the bag. So a lot of people um, commented about good luck with the new driver and things like that. But I've got to say, it's not my new driver. It was purely, I borrowed it for the uh, purposes of the ending of the video. So, uh, video. so I hope I didn't mislead you too much, but 
the M2 is still in the bag, at least for the time being. So that's not to suggest that if I had my choice right now, that G400 might end up in the bag very, very shortly anyway. But we'll have to wait and see. But I thought I needed to clear that one up and I hope I didn't mislead you too much. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, not much more to say really, I think that's the update. All you can see is that, and you very rarely see it from me, is a big smile on my face because this place is spot on. I can't wait to get stuck in, so I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna pick up them two clubs over there, which is the TaylorMade P790s. Start hitting some golf balls and testing, and uh, I'll see you very, very soon, as ever. Thanks for your support, appreciate it.